Investigators think fireworks played a role in a fire at a local elementary school. This happened overnight at the Horace Mann School along Shadeland Avenue in Marshall Shadeland. No one was hurt, but you can see in these photos released by Pittsburgh Public Safety just how much damage was done there. The city of Pittsburgh's fireworks task force received dozens of complaints last night. People got hurt and the fireworks caused tens of thousand dollars in damage. Even though it's now legal to set off fireworks, it's tough to do so within city limits because the buildings are so close together. Royce Jones is live right now to explain how the city plans to enforce this law over the holiday weekend. Royce. Kim, you know 85 complaints rang into the city's fireworks task force last night, but there were three incidents in particular that public safety leaders say proves their point. Fireworks are nothing to play with. Investigators say last night around 11, this two-alarm fire at the abandoned Horace Mann School on Shayland Avenue sparked after a group of people launched fireworks from the school's baseball field, catching the roof on fire 40 minutes after the group was warned to stop. An estimated $60,000 in damage there. Then, task force investigators say a little girl had her foot burned during another fireworks incident at the McNower School on Maple Street. And earlier that day on Rose Street in the Hill District, people trying to recreate the magic of a grand city fireworks display burned up this patch of grass feet away from someone's house. They need to be responsible with them. Sounding the whistle for Duquesne Annex Chief Chuck Spangler, who says volunteer companies can't keep up. A lot of people go away for the weekend. A lot of people have family functions. So it, it strains us on manpower. Heading towards the holiday weekend, Public Safety Director Wendell Hisrich says people will be tempted to put on their own displays, but I urge them to refrain and celebrate in other ways to stay safe during these challenging times. Now, firefighters do recommend keeping an extinguisher or a hose handy if you're still going to light up some fireworks this weekend, which is illegal to do if you're within 150 feet of any structure and you could be fined. No arrests have been made in any of those incidents that we just told you about. But if you want to offer a tip, we will have a link on our website for a phone number that you can call. Reporting live, Royce Jones, KDKA News.